Good blessed throwback Thursday, April the 1st, 2021. Time being about 7.54 a.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greeting of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you are my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. I greet all of you all with that same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. I am one. I don't... Uh, care whether you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Don't care whether you like me or not. I encourage all of you all to have a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D, I-V-I-V-Y. At this point in time, I am doing a independent investigation of the death of my son, Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, middle name Lamar, L-A-R-A-L-A-M-A-R, -A 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 last name Johns, J-O-H-N-S, 45-year-old black male who was found hung in Carbondale, Illinois, in the 400 block of Oakland in uh, Carbondale, Illinois, on the corner of Oakland and Sycamore Street in Carbon, Illinois, Carbondale, Illinois. Right now where you see it's a group of a little baby geese. <clears throat> and I'm assuming these here are their parents. Let me see if I can focus on, that go one of them. That go the other one there. They come in close to the area where I bring them something to eat every now and then because I know sometimes the fish won't come up. That's what human beings do. They not only look out for each other, but they look out for animals too. At least I do. God gave us dimension over the uh, fowl in the air the fish in the sea gave us dominion over the earth. I'm here at one of my locations where I come and give me peace in mind every now and then. If you all can see the highway here, there's nothing too much coming through right now, I guess because it's early. But it's uh, I-57. Interstate 57, that's going southbound there. These vehicles here is going uh, northbound, headed the way me and my family will be headed <clears throat> in a little while. I'm coming to you all today. May not look like it, but I'm grieving the, the death of my first child, my only son. Uh, some say he hung himself, but <clears throat> the law of nature, the law of average, uh, the five common senses that God gave me that I exercise. And those of you all know about the sixth sense, the spiritual sense, the sense of discernment, uh, the spirit of discernment, the gift of discernment. It tells me that my son didn't commit suicide. It tells me that somebody either killed him as a murderer in that particular building or as a murderer somewhere running around that might have brought my son's body there, tied him on this rail and eased him down. That rail, this didn't seem to be strong enough for a person to tie them something around their neck 
and then jump down, you would think that the rail would bend or collapse. But if we get some good scientists down here, we get some good forensic scientists down here, we get some independent uh, forensic sciences down here. Well, down there in Carbondale, Illinois, I believe they would come up with a, another theory than the pathologist came with. Another theory than the one corner came up with. Uh, I don't think that they'll tell me that my theory, because none of us was there. <laughs> At least I know I wasn't. You know what I mean? I don't. I can't speak for the other people. Uh, they may not tell me, but my uh, theory is far fetched. Uh, that word. <clears throat> I don't even know if I've ever heard it. I know I, I never heard it before. No anybody even utter that out their mouth, especially in a deaf. But it don't surprise me when uh, you have someone that's want to hurry up and uh, clear up a case and, and make a ruling and close the case up. But God told me no. God said it's something else that happened. Again, if anybody can, you know that it's on my YouTube or any of my social internet. Can you see if you can do some research and see if anybody that ever hung themselves and when the corner and the first people on the scene find money balled up in their hand? Can you look at my YouTube and my other social internet and see uh, what's the odds of a person hanging himself with a size 32 belt, putting it around their neck and look at the railing that they came off of? They had to be bending down. You know, you have to be a dwarf. A dwarf probably couldn't even hang themselves. But I'm going to leave that alone. The geese want some attention. Let me see if I can. Can y'all see my geese? Let me see. Did I get back on me? Hold on a minute, y'all. There go my geese. There go the babies. They they wanted to get a close up. They like my babies. It's about four of them. It's two here, one right there, one there, two over there. That's that. That give me an indication of my uh, grandson that's down here now. My second oldest granddaughter is down here now and my two youngest daughters. You see, they parents, they trust me. You see how far away their parents is? Their mom and dad is way over there because they know who I am. If they was afraid, they would fly over here or towards their babies and have their babies to get away from danger. I'm just asking everybody again, help me share. I see people putting things on my uh, social internet and asking me to share things. People share fights. Uh, people share things that about people they don't even know. Let's see how many of y'all will share some of these YouTube videos and some of these other social internet uh, videos that I'm speaking about the death of my son. All of you activists that was on Cambridge when the nine-year-old was shot and killed, I contact one of y'all and I would have thought that that one would contact the other one, but sometime I told you some people are not activists, they're actors. Now, if this get to hitting the news, if this get to, because it never hit the news down there. But if it get to hitting the news and getting on the television, and then everybody want to crowd around. But if you ain't crowding around now, 
If you get the news, don't crowd around because you won't like my attitude then. Because I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Or I would say, I would be lad. He been asked Satan, the regime. Bismillah, Hirak, Man, the Rahim. I seek refuge with God from Satan, the rejected enemy, the cursed devil. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. I'm trying to hold strong as I can because I got a lot of leg work to do. When you have these big organizations that just sit back and wait for uh, publicity to happen as far as national news, then they step in. But I'll gently ask them to step right back out. Family, friends, true family and friends, because all family ain't family, because some of my children's family haven't even tried to contact them. I'm sorry to hear about your brother, especially on his mother's side, none of them, with the exception of some cousins. But no, none of my two youngest children's grandmother, uncle, or aunties tried to contact them. I have family down here that didn't, but it don't bother me. You know why? Because we survive. I distance myself from a lot of people, family and friends, family, so-called family and so-called friends. But I just want to leave y'all with this here. One thing about Raymond Lewis Ivy, if I fought for justice for somebody else's child and fought for stopping the violence for people, children that un got killed that I don't even know, you know I'm not going to stop through this from here. You know, I break down sometime at night when nobody else around, but I'm asking y'all if God don't give me the strength to carry on and decide to take me away today. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all keep fighting. Y'all keep fighting for my son's justice. I'm going to check out for right now, y'all. When I say check out, if you ever found me hung somewhere, you'll know. I don't care how much drugs I'll be on, which I'm not going to be on any. I don't care how much grief that I have. I'll never kill myself. If you find me like that, start your investigation. Y'all be giving us, putting down in your, in your prayers, we'll be headed back up to Chicago, probably Saturday. Uh, let my little grandchildren get a little uh, rest from the Windy City for the spring break. But we'll be heading back this Saturday. And those of y'all that's watching, I'll keep you updated. They're having a candlelight uh, or a bloom release uh, for my son uh, this coming Saturday. I believe it would be April the 3rd. Uh, at a 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. in Humboldt Park, and I'll let y'all know where. And I thank all the black, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, and the white people that came together with me seeking justice for my son. You see, some people say I'm a, a racist person. <laughs> Again, my daddy's mother, may he rest in peace, was Irish in black. My oldest grandchild mother is Mexican and my son is black. May he rest in peace. My uh, oldest daughter mother is Indian and Puerto Rican and I'm black. My two youngest daughters mother was Dominican and Puerto Rican. Maybe she may she rest in peace and I'm black. But that's how racist I am, y'all. <laughs> I trusted a white sergeant in Carbondale, Illinois, who investigated investigating uh, my son's hanging. I trust him then and I trust him now. But don't forget, they said I'm racist or I'm prejudiced. Peace be still.